Our objective in this lesson is to derive relationship of geometric figures using measurements. We have congruent, complementary, supplementary, adjacent, and vertical angles. Let's have a quick review of our previous lesson. Sometimes, always, or never. Number 1. Linear pair of angles are adjacent. This is always. Number 2. Vertical angles are congruent. Yes, they are. This is always. Number 3. Complementary angles are adjacent angles. This is sometimes. Sometimes they are adjacent, sometimes not. Number 4. Congruent angles have same length of rays. This is sometimes. And last one. Vertical angles are adjacent. This one is never. Let us start finding measures. Number one, refer to the diagram below. Find the measure of angle beta. A straight line creates 180 degrees angle. This symbol here means that this line is perpendicular with this line, thus creating a 90 degree angle. If this is a straight line that creates 180 degrees and this is 90 degrees, then it follows that this is also 90 degrees. So to solve for angle beta, we just have to subtract 27 from 90 degrees because they are complementary angles. And this will give us 63 degrees. So angle beta is 63 degrees. Number two, once again, a straight line creates 180 degrees. So to solve for angle phi, we just have to subtract 45 from 180. Because phi and 45 degrees are supplementary angles. And 180 minus 45 will give us 135. So angle phi here is 135 degrees. Another one, we are asked to solve for the measure of angle HOE. The measure of angle HOP is 130 degrees, while the measure of angle EOP is 25 degrees. 130 degrees is the total measure of these two adjacent angles. They are adjacent angles because they share a common ray and a common vertex. If we want to solve for the value of angle HOE, then we just have to subtract 25 from 130. And this will give us 105 degrees. So the measure of angle HOE is 105 degrees. Let us add 25. That will give us the total measure of 130 degrees. Next one. Angle LOE and angle EOV are adjacent angles. They share a common ray and a common vertex. Now, to solve for angle LOV, we just have to add the measures of these two angles. So we have 55 plus 110 and it will give us 165. So angle LOV measures 165 degrees. Another one, we can solve right away for the measure of angle B because angle B is opposite this angle and opposite angles are always congruent. They are vertical angles. So angle B is 93 degrees because again they are vertical angles. So this will be 93. This line is a straight line, thus creating 180 degrees. If this is 93 degrees, to solve for angle A, we just have to subtract 93 from 180 degrees because angle A and 93 degrees are supplementary angles. 180 minus 93 will give us 87. So angle A is 87 degrees. Now for angle C, once again, it is opposite this angle. 
So, the measure of angle C is also 87 degrees because opposite angles are vertical angles and vertical angles are always congruent. So, we have for angle C, 87 degrees. To check if our answers are correct, let us add this all. 93 plus 87 plus 93 plus 87 is 360 degrees. And that is the complete rotation, 360 degrees. Therefore, our answers are correct. Let us do extra challenge. Number one, solve for the value of x. So this time, we will apply algebra. These two angles here are vertical angles. So they are congruent. So we just have to equate these two. So x plus 12 is equal to 65. Let us move 12 to the other side. It will become minus 12. And 65 minus 12 is 53. Now, let us check if that is correct. Let us substitute 53 in our equation. Are they equal? 53 plus 12 is 65. And so, they are equal. Therefore, our answer, x equals 53, is correct. Let's have number 2. This one is a straight line, and a straight line creates 180 degrees. So to solve for x, let us add the measurements of these two angles and equate it to 180. Let us remove the parentheses. Let us move 115 to the other side. It will become minus 115. Negative 5 to the other side will become plus 5. 180 minus 115 is 65, plus 5 is equal to 70. Let us check. Let us substitute 70 in our equation. Are they equal? 70 minus 5 is 65. Are they equal? 115 plus 65 is 180. They are equal. Therefore, our answer x equals 70 is correct. Another one. So again, 45 degrees and 95 degrees here are adjacent angles. They share a common ray and a common vertex. Now, it says here that their total measure is equal to 2x. So we add 45 and 95 and then equate it to 2x. 45 plus 95 is 140. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 2. These two here will cancel out. 140 divided by 2 is equal to 70. Let us check. Let us substitute 70 in our equation. Are they equal? 2 times 70 is 140. 45 plus 95 is 140. They are equal. Therefore, our answer, x equals 70, is correct. Quick tips. In solving for measurements with angle pairs, always look for the relationship of the given angles. And remember, complementary angles are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. And vertical angles are always congruent. Linear pair of angles creates a line, thus the sum of angles is 180 degrees. Add the measures of adjacent angles to get the total measure. And finally, always check your answer. This time, let us check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer. So we are given here line PC and line RE. And the measurement of angle P, O, J is 90 degrees. Yes, because there is a symbol here for 90 degrees. We are asked to solve for the measure of the following. Okay, now 
Here, a straight line creates 180 degrees. If this is 90 degrees, then it follows the sum of these two angles is also 90 degrees. But let me warn you, do not commit the mistake of assuming that these two angles here are of equal measures, just because they look congruent in the figure. You have to find a way to determine the value of x. Once again, a straight line creates 180 degrees. If this is 90, then the sum of these two angles is also 90. So we're going to add these two and equate it to 90. Let us remove the parentheses. 2x plus x is equal to 3x. Let's copy 90. Let us move 20 to the other side. It will become minus 20. Move 10 to the other side. It will become minus 10. 90 minus 20 is 70. Minus 10 is 60. To solve for x, let us divide both sides by 3. So this 3 here will cancel out and 60 divided by 3 is equal to 20. Now that we have the value of x, we can start solving for the measures of this angle. Let's start with the first one. What is the measure of angle P, O, R? To solve for that, let us substitute 20 in here. 2 times 20 is 40 and 40 plus 20 is 60. Therefore, angle P, O, R measures 60 degrees. Number 2, what is the measure of angle J, O, E? To solve, let us substitute 20 in here. So 20 plus 10 is equal to 30. So angle J, O, E, 30 degrees. See, this one is 60 degrees and this one is 30 degrees. They are not congruent. So, do not assume on the measurements of the angle based on the picture. You have to solve for the value of the variable. Number three, what is the measure of angle EOC? Angle EOC is opposite angle POR. So, meaning this is also 60 degrees because they are vertical angles. Number four, what is the measure of angle COC? T. So let us substitute 20 in here and 20 minus 5 is 15. So this is 15 degrees. And last one, measurement of angle T O R. So let us substitute 20 here. 5 times 20 is 100 and 100 plus 5 is 105. So angle TOR measures 105 degrees. Again, to check, let us add everything. 60 plus 90 is 150 plus 30 is 180 plus 60 is 240 plus 15 is 255, plus 105 is 360. That is a complete angle. Therefore, our answers are correct. Gets? Our next lesson is line relationships.